Okay, so you're in the symmetry flight deck. Uh, this symmetry flight deck is common right now for the G400, the upcoming G400, the 500, the 600. You're in the G700, and then right next door is the G800. And so this same flight deck, plus or minus a few switches, is exactly the same in all of the airplanes. There's three unique things in this airplane that put together um, create what the symmetry flight deck is. The first one is the, flight, the active control side stick. And so you can see that it's moving and I'm moving it on this side at the same time that it's moving on the other side. That process, the active part of that process of the side stick is what makes it so unique. It's not a passive side stick like in some other airplanes, but this allows us to get feedback from the other pilot so the two of us know what we're flying. It also allows the airplane to talk to you so that it tells you if you're out of trim, um, you know, if you're fast, if you're slow, all of those feedbacks will come back through this stick. So the second part of it is the touchscreen controllers. There's three different types of touchscreen controllers. These are called TSCs. Then there's the overhead touchscreens. And then there's the standby touchscreens. All of them, instead of working like your phone does, which uses a spark in the human to be able to know where it's being touched, these actually require a little bit of pressure. It's only about three ounces, 80 grams of pressure to activate it. Additionally, because we live in a turbulent world with turbulence, we have these edges around that we can actually hold on to so that as the airplane is in turbulence and going up and down, I can actually, my hand is going up and down at the same rate and I can still have control. I couldn't do that on the standby because there's not enough room. So even though this is a touch screen, I can also do everything with a push button manual uh, in, in order to control the airplane. So the third function uh, in the airplane is called the DCN, the data concentration network. You can't actually see it. It's a network inside the airplane uh, that basically can, is smart enough to control parts of the airplane. So for example, when I would normally have to turn on a fuel pump, and when I turn the master on here, the, the DCN knows because we've taught it that when I push the master button to start the APU, I want you to turn on the, manu the left main pump. 